the morning of the 19th of September 2014, and around the world people may wake up to the news that Scotland has just voted to break away from one of the oldest unions in the world, the United Kingdom. It would present a monumental change bearing an impact on everyday life, culture and business in Scotland. Pensions. It's not good for two years, a feverish debate has been underway with two sides exchanging for. better we, we rules. There are those who want Scotland to stay in the security of its 300-year-old union with England. And then there are those who want this small nation of 5 million people to go on its own, to handle its own taxation, to formulate its own drugs policies, to look after its young, to manage its own defences. Scotland's future. This book was supposed to settle all the arguments, like what currency would a new Scotland use? Would it keep the pound or would it use the euro? And also, what would happen to European Union membership? And would Scotland keep its queen? Unfortunately, there won't be clear answers until we know the result of the referendum. But as the voting day nears, the debate gets stronger and so does people's desire for more information. I wonder what people think, so I'm going into my city to find out. Now I'm a Scottish Londoner, so like 800,000 other Scots who live inside the UK but outside of Scotland, I won't get to vote on the future of my country. That's because only people who live in Scotland and are over 15 will be allowed. Personally, I feel it would be uh, a shame if uh, Scotland left the wider union uh, because I don't particularly feel English, I feel more British. And what do you think about Scottish independence? Many European countries in Northern Europe are doing very well and I, can think, I think Scotland could do much better than it's doing now. I think if the Scottish people want to be independent, let them be independent, just like the Northern Irish wanted to be independent and they were independent, so I think it's a good thing. I mean, I'm not really sure of the advantages of it, but yeah, I think, to be honest, I think it's a good thing if everyone stays united as the United Kingdom. But I just believe that every country should have their own independence. And I think if they, if, that, if they particularly want to do that, then I think well, it's their choice, but um, yeah, I, th I do think it'd be nice if we all sort of stuck together, I suppose. On the streets of London, I found there were many people who believed strongly in the right to self-determination. But there were also those that felt saddened by the prospect of the ties that bind England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland unravelling so quickly. Others just didn't care at all. I am ambivalent. On the one hand, it is a compelling argument. The opportunity to build something new, a society that isn't founded on hyper-capitalism. But then there are days where I wonder how I would feel as a foreigner in my adopted home city. More importantly, in this globalised world, do we have greater opportunities for prosperity and peace when we find more ties with other countries rather than breaking the ones we have? Currently, polls show that an independent Scotland is a very real prospect. Most voters say they will vote to keep Scotland in the Union but the momentum is with those who want it to leave. The truth is that for many of the important questions, there is no simple, easy answer. We are all exploring unfamiliar territory. Personally, I'm so unsure of my feelings that I'm almost grateful that I will not get the opportunity to vote.